Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire. Siamese Mahjong Solitaire. This is the two-player, two-handed game that Gladys Grad invented. And I'm going to practice by playing by myself. Siamese Solitaire. Here we go. I have two Siamese Mahjong racks here. If you want to know where to get them, just go to SiameseMahjong.com and that's Siamese Mahjong with two G's. And then we have a die because I'm going to mark whose turn it is. Kind of like a board game. I'm going to take 28 random tiles for the first player and this player is going to be east and south, west and north. In American style, it really doesn't matter. Player one, player two. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. Okay, now this player up here, they get one less tile. The key when you play solitaire is you have to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. You can't think about what the players have between the racks. You have to play one rack at a time. Otherwise you'll skew the outcome. So try to compartmentalize. It'll be a uh, exercise in self-control, definitely. So this player back here, ones, sixes, nines. I think they should play a three, six, nine, three, six, nine. All we need are flowers. We could play three, six, nine, the Kong hand, three, six, nine. Okay. Then down here, we've got a Kong, a Pung of ones. If we can use those ones, I was thinking maybe a year hand, but yeah, like this two zero one seven. That would be the first hand under the year category. Let's see how that would leave. Yikes. Lots of tiles, lots of tiles. So the goal to me is to leave eight discards from the beginning. I think that can be a, a winning, a winning combination. So I think as an option for this player, I think I would hold the sevens and the ones and maybe play like numbers. We can't keep it all though. So we probably have about 12 discards, which is not good. And I don't see any other potential here. Let me just look at it real quick. Okay, what about, let's reevaluate here. One, nine, three, five, seven. One, nine, three, five, seven. This would be the third hand from the bottom. One, nine, three, five, seven in a second suit. It's a little risky because we're missing tiles, but we could also maybe use these instead. I'm not sure yet. Then on top, we can leverage these sixes here somehow. Let's see here. What can we do? Six, seven, eight with opposite dragons. We can't use all of those tiles though. Is the problem. 
this six would have to go away because there are pungs. Pung, pair, pung. All right. I think that's a better plan, though, because look, eight discards. I think that's a better plan. Let's hold these ones just in case and the three, just in case the three, six, nine and the like numbers come in. That's what I'm going to do there. I think that's a good plan. If you would do something different with that, let me know. All right, let's see what this player has. Multiples, east, south, red, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, three, four, five. There's a lot of consecutive going on there. Four, five, three, four, five. Let's see here. Three, four, three, four. Might have to use that joker for the three crack. Five, three, four, three, four, five. If we can get our hands on a three crack, we could swap it and use this three, four for the pair and this three, four for the pungs. If we can get that three crack, three, four, three, four, five. That's a possibility. Okay, now. We're left with that three, four, three, four, five hand. That one is going to be the fourth hand down under consecutive run. And here we want to leverage these multiples if we can. I think a wind and dragon hand, joker bait. That leaves joker bait. Two sets of joker bait. Let's see here. Four, five, four, five, six. <laughs> There's another consecutive run right here. Kind of the exact same situation as this one. Four, five, four, five, six. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, let's see what happens. Let's just take it forward. Okay, so East is gonna start by discarding. We're gonna discard a one dot. And I'm just gonna discard randomly back there, one dot. This player can't take it. We're gonna draw. So they drew a North. They don't need that at all. They did pair up though. So we're doing six, seven, some kind of six, seven consecutive, and then odds, one, nine, three, five, seven in the middle. Let's just hold that for joker bait. And let's go ahead and discard a one dot. It was already thrown. And now it's East turn. They got a flower. Okay, let's just keep that. And we can discard a two crack. And let's draw for player two. They've got a four bam. That's not a keeper. That's too bad. Let's throw away. Let's see here. Yeah, these are the tiles we want to keep. This is joker bait. These are discards. Let's put this up here. There we go. Okay, this is potential. So let's throw these, let's throw one bam. And now it's East turn or player one. They drew a West. So now they have East and West with dragons maybe. East and West with dragons. We'll see. Let's get rid of the one crack. And now it's player two. One bam, that's already been thrown. We're gonna throw it. And now it's player one's turn. They drew a three crack. Okay, now that was the other option. 
Let's look at that. Remember I was saying three, four, three, four, five. We needed that three crack. Three, four, three, four, five. That hand is now set. We can pung or pung the three, pung the four, kong the five. And now these are joker bait right here. So let's throw a nine bam. Let me turn this a little. Is that better? Okay, here we go. So I just threw a nine bam. It's player two's turn. They got it east. So let's go ahead and throw it east. And now it is player one's turn. Now they have to decide. I think I'm going to play this one out. I'm not going to, I was thinking I could use it for that east, but I think I'm going to, I want to win on this. I think I'm going to keep going. Let's draw five crack. Oh my goodness sake. That's part of four, five, four, five, six. Okay, let's see if that one is going to be better. Let's see here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Four, five. Oops. Okay. Four, five. Oh, did I throw away something? Four, five. Oh, four, five, six. No, it's not. Because we don't have a four bam. We need to stay put with that hand. Okay, so here's three, four, three, four, five, there, three, four, three, four, five. We'll just hold that for joker bait. And this is joker bait too, right there. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Okay, player two. They drew a seven crack. That's a keeper because we're playing six, seven, eight with opposite dragons, maybe. So let's get rid of the nine bam. It's already been thrown and now it's player one's turn. They got a flower. Okay, that's a good possibility here. Let's get rid of the six bam. Player two. Green, nice, keeper. So we have six, seven, eight dragons. One, three, we need five bams in here. We're holding those. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and get rid of, let's hold those for joker bait. Let's get rid of the eight bam and draw for player one. Four crack, that's a keeper. They're ready to win. Nope, they're one away still. They need a five bam and a three crack. Let's get rid of the six dot. Six dot. Nobody can take that, so we're going to draw for player two. Six bam. That's not a keeper. Discard. Player one. Red dragon. Okay, we don't know if that's a keeper yet. Hey, what about if we play a quint? Red five wins. Let's get rid of the six dot and see what happens. Player two. North. Oh my goodness. Okay. I wonder if they should play a quint. They have no jokers though. Okay. Let's throw the four bam. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw now for player one. They got a north. Okay. They have news now. East and west with flowers or all news dragons. They have to decide. I'm thinking east and west with dragons or a quint or east and west with flowers. Let's get rid of the nine or the north. Discarding the north and we're up here to player two. South. So north was discarded and this player from this player's perspective did not claim it. So these tiles are, are not going to be needed. So let's just throw the south and draw for player one. Eight crack, that's a discard. 
Eight crack. This player is playing a concealed hand. Six, seven, eight with dragons. So they can't take that eight crack. You couldn't even call it for a pair anyway. So we're going to draw. They drew an eight bam. That's not a keeper for them. Let's go ahead and throw the four dot though. Maybe they could do something consecutive. Let's draw for player one. Two crack. That's not helpful. We need a three crack. Let's throw the two crack and draw for player two. One bam. That's not a keeper. We'll discard two dot, let's say. And now we're going to draw for player one. Four dot. Okay, here now we're kind of opposite. We could do ready on a three crack or use a three crack as a pair and pung the three dot maybe. Let's go ahead and just hold all that. Let's go ahead and discard the five crack at this point. Five crack. Player two. They drew a two bam. That's not a keeper. We'll discard and draw for player one. They got a west. I think they should play east and west with flowers or east and west with dragons. Let's get rid of the five crack and draw now for player two. Eight bam, joker bait. Let's discard the one bam and draw now for player one. Oh, joker, nice. Okay, now they probably, they're probably at this point ready to win. Three, four, three, four, five. They need a three crack. Or three, four, three, four. Either way, they need a three crack. And either way, they don't need this five crack. So let's throw that. So they need a three crack or a five bam to win. And we're going to draw four player two. Nine bam. That's not a keeper. Let's get rid of the north. Nobody wants the wins. So we'll throw the north. And we're going to draw for player one. Flower. East and west with flowers. Let's get rid of the south at this point and leave options open here. South. Drawing for player two. They got a nine crack. That's a keeper. One, nine, three, five, seven, or three, five, seven. Let's throw the north and draw for player one. Three dot. That's a mahjong. No, not yet. That's not a mahjong because they still need a three crack. Okay. They need a three crack. Now they have three, four, five. They need a three crack to win here. So let's play, let's discard the south. And now we'll draw for player two. Two bam, that's a discard. Drawing for player one. Eight dot, that's a discard. Player two. Four crack, not a keeper. Let's throw the north. Okay. This is still good joker bait. Let's draw for player one. Seven dot. That is not a keeper. We're going to discard seven dot and draw for player two. Four bam. That's a discard. We'll draw for player one. Three bam. Discard. Three bam. That's the first three bam out. So this player is on alert at this point. Let's draw west. That's a discard. West. Now this player needs to make a choice. I'm thinking east and west with flowers. East and west with flowers. Let's take it. I'm going to con uh, con it here. And then we'll discard the four. No, let's keep the four. Let's discard the green dragon. This is going to be joker bait. Okay, 
So I just discarded the green dragon and it's player two. Six dot, that's a discard. Player one. Four bam, discard. Player two. Eight dot, that's a discard. Player one. Two bam, that's a discard too. Player two. Nine dot, don't need it, discard. Player one. Eight dot, discard. <laughs> Player two. Three bam, oh, that's a keeper. Oh my goodness, they need a five bam badly. Let's throw the nine bam. Player one. They got a seven bam. That's a discard. Player two. Joker. That is badly needed. So we have joker bait options. Let's throw the four crack. Player one. Flower. That is a keeper. They need six flowers. We're going to play the east west with six flowers. This would be the second from the bottom under winds and dragons. So let's throw the four crack. Oh, you know, well, I already threw it. I was going to say we could throw the red. Nobody wants those anyway. So let's draw for player two. Oh, they got a joker. They need a five bam badly. Let's throw the three crack, three crack. And that is Mahjong right here. They have to take it because, well, they don't have to take it. They could hold on to this and try to draw it, but there's two, three cracks. I think I'm going to go ahead and declare Mahjong. So there's the first win, the first Mahjong. I'm going to put it in the back. Three, four, three, four, five. And then we discard the red. So that was this player's turn. And we draw now for player two. They got a three dot. Oh, look, three, five, seven, no gaps. This one has a gap. How many seven dots are out? Well, it doesn't matter. They can throw away the eight bam at this point and move the game along. So we'll look at that in a minute. Let's draw for player one, five dot. That's a discard. We'll draw for player two. Eight dot, that's a discard. Player one. Joker, joker, joker. We're gonna discard a red dragon. Player two. Eight crack, that's a keeper too. Let's throw the eight bam. And it's this player's turn, but I wanna look. They gotta throw that away. Six, seven, eight, white, green. Six, seven, eight. Okay, they're still a bit short, but it's coming in, finally. Okay, let's draw. Joker, discard, red. They're ready on an east or a flower. Either an east or a flower. We're gonna draw for player two. One dot, that's a discard. Drawing for player one. Flower, Mahjong. So they won both hands. So I'm gonna bring them forward on the rack so you can see. Oh, I have these backwards. Three, four, three, four, five, three flowers, east, three flowers, west, two mahjongs. So they will get a single payment for the first one and a double payment for the second from this player. This player was two away from this hand and three away, three discards from this hand. So it wasn't too bad um, as far as catching up. This player won. Let me know what you think about Solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules.
I'm sure you could probably play by yourself with any version. You just have to remember whose turn it is. And you have to make sure that you're playing without being biased, knowing what's in those other hands. That's a key as well. But it's really great practice for the picking and discarding phase of the game. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Then click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Sometimes there might be some strategy or insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.